Hey farmers, and welcome to this week's installment of the official Farmville podcast. My name is Grimwell, and I am here to bring you all of the latest news and information about Farmville from Zynga. This week, we will be discussing our latest releases, and everyone will be getting a sneak peek of things coming to Farmville in the near future. So today, we released the brand new greenhouse feature. Please be aware that this feature was originally teased in our last podcast as the glass house, but has had a bit of a name change since then. Since the greenhouse is brand new, I'd like to give a quick explanation of this feature for everyone. The greenhouse is a multi-level constructible building that you can use to create up to 10 new masterable crop breeds. The bigger the greenhouse, the higher the amount of seeds you can start to produce. First off, let's not confuse the new greenhouse with the old one that was available in the market. The old greenhouse has been renamed Glass House and has no actual functionality. Similarly, the cube greenhouse, available exclusively through Farmville Mobile, is merely a decoration. Everyone will get the new greenhouse for free the first time they play after Farmville updates, and you will immediately be entered into placement mode. You can place the greenhouse frame on your farm now, or you can choose to place it in your gift box for use later. The new greenhouse is a multi-level constructible building. Each level requires a certain amount of building parts to complete, and each level allows the use of more seedling trays. For details on how many parts are required, and how many trays can be used per level, please visit the Game Updates section of the Farmville forums. Now, like many constructible building parts, you can acquire these items via neighbor requests, the free gifts page, special delivery boxes, and farm cash. As you complete each level of the greenhouse, it will become visually bigger and grander. Now, if you do not get the greenhouse initially or wind up accidentally deleting it, you can purchase it in the market under the Buildings tab. To see what the greenhouse can offer, just click on it on your farm and choose Look Inside from the menu options to see the nursery display. Here, you can find and use the right seed combinations to produce one of the new crops. Just click on the Place a Seed display and you'll see a mini market display showing 20 familiar crops. Once you enter in the right two crop combination, you'll be told what the new crop will be and you'll be deducted the cost listed under each crop. If you enter in the wrong combination, you'll get an error message. Experimenting to create new crops will take time. However, if you click on the Ask Friends for Help button, you can speed up this process. Each friend you get to help will reduce the experimentation time by one day. You can also speed up the process by using farm cash. Once the experimentation process is over, the clock will be replaced with an image of a new seed packet. Click on Harvest and you'll be rewarded with a new super enhanced crop. Each time you finish experimentation, you'll get 50 seeds of this new crop which are placed in your market. You'll also be able to share this new crop with your friends. As you expand the greenhouse, you'll get access to additional seed trays so you can experiment with more special crops at the same time. Remember, you can experiment with any combination of special crops. There's no restriction as to which you can try out. There will be a green ready label over the ones that are ready to be harvested. Clicking on the Seed Genealogy button will bring you to the genealogy display where you can see all of the special crops available for experimenting. You can learn more about these special crops as well as how far along your mastery of these crops are. Yes, they can be mastered by moving your mouse over the crop image. Now, the greenhouse is a big release. So as usual, we're looking for your feedback. Please make sure to visit the official Farmville forums if you have an opinion about our latest update that you would like to share with us. And since we have a lot of really exciting news for you this week, let's go ahead and jump into the coming soon segment of this podcast. First up is something that I know our community has been waiting very patiently for. The 28 by 28 expansion will be released next week for coins. This expansion was originally going to be crafted into a new feature, which is the reason for the delay. However, the Farmville team decided that this feature was ultimately not as enjoyable for our players as it should be, so it'll be released as normal next week. We would like to thank everyone for their patience with us so far, and we are very excited for this coming release. Along with the expansion, we will also be introducing the ability to collect watering cans from orchards. We have heard tons of feedback from users that watering cans are too scarce. 
In the near future, when you collect from your orchard and do not receive a seedling, you will receive two watering cans and an additional can that can be shared with up to ten of your neighbors. And lastly, we will soon be introducing new special crops that will award extra experience points and more coins than normal crops. Now, before I get out of here, I want to quickly inform everyone that the ability to harvest watering cans from snowmen has been re-enabled for an additional three weeks. If you've deleted your snowmen, please contact Zynga Customer Service and they will restore them for you. Alright folks, well that's it for me this week. Again, my name is Grimwell, and I would like to thank everyone for tuning in. Lexalicious will be back on February 18th to bring you all of the latest news from around the farm. Happy farming!